All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs, day number 1201, coming at you. That's right, everybody. If you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. I'll give you a second to tap that subscribe button. We are almost at like uh, 23,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So thank you for that. And if you drive in this gig economy, which you know you do, hit that like button down below. Let's get 200 likes and let's jump into this. So quick email, but interesting, interesting topic. And I want everyone watching to get involved, even for those people who don't normally comment. I know who you are. Leave a comment in the chat or the, or the comment section telling me if you've ever experienced this. So this comes from Tammy. So everybody say, hey, Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y. She says, hey, Pete, uh, this is Tammy Humfleet. You can use my name. But last night I got an order from White Castle and there was a long line. So I sent my customer a text letting them know. But by my surprise, this is what happened. He said, I did not order anything. I told them I was from DoorDash and they said, I still did not order anything. Then told me I'm in Dallas, Texas, not Tennessee. But I do DoorDash in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But I got a hold of DoorDash and they called them and told the and they told DoorDash that they did not order anything. And that was and that was not their name. Have you have you had anything like that happen? I personally have not seen anything like this, Tammy, myself. So let me read the text uh, conversation between Tammy and the customer. Or the so-called customer. Uh, in line for your food, says Tammy. Customer says, uh, hi, this is DoorDash connecting you to your customer for updates about their order. That's the standard message. Uh, and then they said, what are you getting? And then Tammy says, your order. Customer says, I don't know who you are. I didn't order any food. Tammy says, I'm from DoorDash. The customer says, I still didn't order anything. I live in Dallas, Texas, not Tennessee. So then it says, new order, go to White Castle. Shannon's order is ready for pickup at White Castle somewhere in Nashville. Go ahead and grab your order. Make sure you check items as usual. And then it says, hi, Tammy. Unfortunately, your order from Shannon at White Castle has been canceled and you will be paid half the guaranteed amount. You should start receiving new orders right away. So here's my whole thoughts and two cents on the thing. Uh, it seems like, some, all right, it seems like one of two things, just from my experience. One, it could be a glitch, personally, uh, where maybe something in the system got messed up. Maybe a phone number was very similar to another person's phone number and it contacted the wrong person. Or the only other thing I can think of is that this is fraud of some kind, um, where, Somebody is using somebody else's name and information, maybe their their credit card or debit card or something, and they are, you know, trying to scam a free meal or something. Again, I'm not sure. I'm I'm leaning more towards if there's a if there's a spectrum of where this lies and a glitch is here and fraud is here, I'm leaning more towards a glitch because I I personally have not seen this happen before. Uh, DoorDash is definitely known for making mistakes, so it's it's kind of tough to say. I mean, what do you guys think? Help me out in the chat and in the comment section. Have you ever seen this before? Say, yes, Pete, I have seen this before, or no, Pete, I have not seen this before. I'm just really curious. <coughs> for those of you guys just joining, I'm just going to read this one more time. Uh, so uh, they said, this is T uh, Tammy Humphrey. You can use my name. But last night I got an order from White Castle and there was a long line. So I sent my customer a text letting them know. But my but by my surprise, this is what happened. He said I did not order anything. I told him I was from DoorDash and they said, well, I still didn't order anything. Then told me I'm in Dallas, Texas, not Tennessee. But I do DoorDash in Bowling Green, Kentucky. 
Uh, everybody in the chat or the comments, put what market you work in and what state you work in. I'll give you guys a second to do that. Uh, but I got a hold of DoorDash and they called them and they told DoorDash they didn't order anything and that there was and that was not their name. Have you had anything like that happen before? And like I said before, I personally have not. But it doesn't mean that other people have it. So, you know, I'm curious what everybody in the chat is saying in the future, you know, um, because this is one of those situations where now the Dasher is kind of wasting their time. And also, Tammy, I want to know if you're watching this, uh, did you at least get that half pay? It says that they offered it to you. I hope make sure you check your earnings and make sure that you got the half pay for whatever, whatever it was um, for the White Castle order. At least, I will say with DoorDash, at least they do that. At least they offer half of what you would normally be getting. Uh, because, you know, at least for your time, you know. So, I'm curious what everybody thinks about this. Personally, like I said, I'm thinking it's a glitch. And we'll see what happens. So, put down below, do you think it's glitch, fraud, or something else? <coughs> Sorry. Allergies. The windows are open. Breathing in all this pollen that's coming in. So, anyway, it's time to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. You guys are awesome for supporting me every month. Um, so, if you want to sign up, link's in the description down below and in the pinned top comment. Go and check it out. Uh, and you'll get shout outs like this. If you heard your name called, say, yes, Pete, I heard my name. So, we got BBA, Master Yoda, Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Fernando Carranza, Lulu Laura, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, Terry DeLong, and of course Valerie Brown. Thank you all so much. I really, really appreciate all of you guys uh, being supportive. Check it out. Patreon.com slash paid to drive. Links down below. And of course, the other link that's down below is for the Get Upside Gas app. You guys know my spiel, but if you're procrastinating, seriously, get on this app. You save money every time you pump gas. So download the app for free. Link in the description. Pump your gas. Print out your receipt. Take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside links down below make sure to download it and check out paytodrivestore.com for t-shirts hoodies everything on sale paytodrivestore.com down below if you made it to the end comment simply end 430 end 430 i'll give you a second to do that subscribe with all notifications and of course those likes are a little low so hit that like down below the likes are a little low so hit that like down below Wow, did I just invent something cringy? I think I did. All right, that's it for me, guys. Get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you guys next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. Ta-ta for now. Remember when people used to say that? Was I the only one? I never used to say that. What the hell am I talking about?